As computer technologies continue to develop, data backup becomes increasingly important. However, traditional data backup approaches affect application performance, or even worse, lead to interruptions in services. Longer backup windows further complicate matters for system administrators as data continues to grow exponentially. To address these pain points, a variety of data backup and protection technologies, including snapshot technology, have emerged. Snapshot is a data backup technology that records the state of objects within the system at a specific point in time, much like a photo captures a moment in time. Snapshot technology helps system administrators reduce the backup window to mere seconds, meeting enterprise customer requirements for business continuity and data reliability. The snapshot obtains a point-in-time copy of source data by leveraging the copy-on-write, or COW, technology along with a mapping table. A snapshot task involves a source volume, a COW data space, and a snapshot volume. The source volume stores the source data for which snapshots are generated and is represented as a LUN to users. The COW data space on the source volume is automatically allocated by the storage system after a snapshot is generated and activated. The snapshot volume is a logical data duplicate generated after a snapshot is created for the source volume. The snapshot volume is an independent storage space. It can be mapped to and accessed by a host and is represented as a snapshot LUN to users. After creating a snapshot, users can determine a point in time for activating the snapshot. In a snapshot task, the COW technology and a mapping table organically combine a source volume, a COW data space, and a snapshot volume. The COW technology is used to save data changes on the source volume in the snapshot task. A mapping table records the data changes on the source and snapshot volumes, as well as the new location of the changed data. The mapping table consists of a shared and exclusive part. Saved in the COW data space, the shared part records the mapping between the COW data and its location when data is written to the source volume. Saved in the snapshot volume, the exclusive part records the mapping between the data generated on the source volume and the location of such data on the snapshot volume. When a snapshot is activated, the storage system automatically creates a mapping table. Before new data is written to the source volume after the snapshot point in time, all address pointers in the mapping table point to the source volume and the COW data space is empty. For example, in a snapshot period, when application server 1 sends a request to write data A to source volume address 10, the storage system uses the COW technology to copy data X to the COW data space, modifies the mapping in the shared part of the mapping table, and writes data A to source volume address 10. The storage space performs the same operations when data is written to an address for the first time. When a host sends a request to write data C to the same location, the storage system queries the mapping table and detects that the source data at the location has been copied to the COW data space. Therefore, COW is not performed and data C overwrites the data on the source volume. When application server 2 sends a request to write data D to snapshot volume address 50, data D is directly written to the snapshot volume, and the exclusive part of the mapping table records the location of data D on the snapshot volume. When application server 2 sends a request to read data D from the snapshot volume, the storage system queries the exclusive part of the mapping table to locate data D on the snapshot volume, reads data D from the snapshot volume, and returns data D to application server 2. When application server 2 sends a request to read data X, Y, and Z, the storage system queries the exclusive part of the mapping table. If the storage system finds that the desired data is not on the snapshot volume, the storage system queries the shared part of the mapping table, locates data X, Y, and Z on the source volume and COW data space, reads data X, Y, and Z, and returns the data to application server 2. The snapshot feature not only quickly creates a point-in-time copy of a source volume, but also provides a mechanism for restoring source volume data. If data on a source volume is infected by a virus, mistakenly deleted, or becomes damaged in some other way, you can instantaneously roll back the source volume to the point in time when the snapshot was activated, thereby minimizing data loss. 
If data stored at address 10 is mistakenly deleted, overwritten, or infected with a virus, the COW data space retains the data at snapshot points in time, even though the source volume data is overwritten. If the data at address 12 becomes damaged, the storage system considers the event as a change to data Z at address 12, and copies data Z to the COW data space. To restore the source volume data to a point in time, you can roll back the snapshot. Thank <laughs> you.